ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in just a few minutes, the lights surrounding the rivers of America will be dimmed so you can fully experience our breathtaking fireworks spectacular, Remember, Dreams Come True, presented by Honda. Please try to remain in the same area until the lights return to normal. Thank you. Bill Rod. So, Bill, just, just because I know your story stretches on and on and on and on, but I do want to know. You know, she explains that if somebody asks me what time it is, I'm going to tell them how to build a watch. <laughs> My, my stories are never short. It's, it's, it's an unfortunate part of all of this. Well, just tell us, how did you end up doing the, the voices that you do at Disneyland? The voices I do at Disneyland are basically uh, a, a character that I've developed over the years because of one man who said these words. Permanecer sentados, por favor. And for those of you speaking only English, it's... Keep going. Yeah. yeah. All right. It didn't work. Well, that's, that's so much for Nonetheless, you know, please remain seated. I, Jack has, Jack did that line in uh, the year that the, the Matterhorn was first introduced, and that has to be 1960, something 59. like that? 59. Yeah, it was part of that. Part of that opening? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's been there for decades and Jack was one of these people who always came up with something wonderful and new and I thought boy if, if I'm gonna set the bar high I might as well set it just as high as I possibly can because I have this guy to look forward to and he does things like this let's play that second one number three your attention please the Disneyland Limited, now loading for a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom through the Grand Canyon and Primeval World. Boy! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my predecessor and the guy who set the bar so high for all of us, Jack Wagner. I'll tell you just a quick story about Jack, because Jack, at the very uh, last parts of his life, suffered from something, uh, a condition that none of us should ever have. And he managed to, uh, to plug through with a whole lot of help from his son, Mike, doing things uh, for the park. He suffered from a condition called uh, dysphonia, uh, spasmodic dysphonia, and it basically rendered his vocal cords in spasm from time to time, and he literally could not work. So all of the things that you hear in the later years are, are evidence of this man's perseverance and his ability to, to just get things done. And I hope that uh, as my later years approach, and they're not that far away, uh, I can, I can kind of carry on with that because he has made Disneyland and all of the Disney parks Truly a wonderful place to go because of his generosity. And so I, I'm, Jack Wagner is my hero. That's all there is to it. So it all started in a small garage in 1991 somewhere. <laughs> Now, how did, you, how did you end up getting that first job, though? That's that first job came because a friend of mine uh, recommended me, unbeknownst to me, and, and told me to come over and take a look at that friend's new digital equipment. I got there, we, uh, we took a look at all the new digital toys. This was 1991, so digital toys were pretty cool at those days. <laughs> and not, not routine, yes. And... Uh, he said, I understand you know Jack Wagner, and I said, no, I've never met the man, but he's my hero. And uh, he says, well, do me a favor and read this. And it was, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in just a few minutes, the lights surrounding Disneyland will be dimmed so that you may fully enjoy the party that is the Main Street Electrical Parade. Please remain in the same area until the lights return to normal. You've all heard this, right? So I read it, he had me read it a second time, and uh, I, he says, come on out. I was in the recording booth, he says, come on out. And I said, 
What wants the deal? He says, well, I don't make the final decision, but by Thursday, you'll know that you are the new announcer at Disneyland. Jack is retiring. I went, that was my first job. So that's how that worked. Thank you. Thank you. Never underestimate the power of friendship, ladies and gentlemen. So there. That's a good story. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Yeah. Are there any tears? <laughs> so before we go, I thought it might...